Hey gang, one of the things I talk a lot about and imp- try to improve myself is range of motion of your extremities. And as we age, again, I'm touching 65, we want to start improving that in your wrists, your fingers, your feet, your ankles. So I'm just going to give you a couple of simple things to do that you can do anytime, any place, watching TV or whatever. But the first thing we're going to focus on is the hands, the fingers, and the wrist. And an easy exercise for this, and again, if you want to make this so simple, I can put my hands out in front here, and I have very little pressure in my wrist. If I bring the hands back farther, I have much more pressure here. So again, you might start out and you say, hey, you know, that's a problem for me. Or maybe even get some yoga blocks and it allows you to have a little bit more position out here where you have less extension in your wrist. So again, that might be something initially, but eventually over time, you can bring your hands back and start improving your range of motion here. So let me just show you how this works. I'm just going to slowly bring the hands closer to my knees. And now my wrist, I got that good extension here. And the goal here is you want to try to keep your arms nice and straight. So as I do this, I'm just going to kind of gently rock back and forth. Now this is not only working my fingers, I'm spreading the fingertips apart. It's not only working my wrist, but it's working my elbows and my shoulders. So this is a great exercise for your shoulder. If I want to put my weight out here a little bit more on top of me. So again, play around with this thing, and, and it, shouldn't, it should not hurt. It might be a little uncomfortable at the beginning, but it shouldn't hurt. And then from there, we form a clock with the hands. So now I'm going to take my hands and slowly, slowly start putting them out to the side. And the goal, the goal is to keep my wrist and my elbows and my sh- everything lined up. But try to keep those arms straight if you can. And then slowly, I'm going to bring it back a little bit further and I'll make that continue that clock. So I'm just kind of wiggling back and forth, not spending a huge amount of time here, and then I'm gonna go in the other direction. So again, you're just trying to form a clock here, trying to keep my arms straight. You will be shocked in how it starts improving your mobility, flexibility of your fingers, your wrist, ankles. So again, now we're gonna move into the back of the leg. So now I'm gonna sit back here, and a little disclaimer here, I have three screws in my knee from rupture to patella. So I still have those three screws in here. And when I was working with one of my best friends and training partners, Walt Reynolds, he says, you know, we got to work on that range of motion. But the range of motion is not your problem in your knee. It's your problem in your ankle. And so I never could do this before because I always use the excuse that I can't do that because of my knee. Well, now you can see that I can. So the goal here is to get your feet nice and flat. So my goal here, my feet are nice and flat here. And again, if I put my hands up here, it's not a big deal. But if that bothers you a little bit, grab yourself a foam roller and put it right behind you and just sit back here. So now this adds a little more pressure here, but it's a little easier. And then from there, once I've done that, I'm wiggling back and forth. And you go back and forth between these two exercises... I'm going to take my toes and I'm going to curl them under. So now I'm working on those toes, the bottom of the feet, the plantar fasciitis, the Achilles tendonitis that people get. And all I do is I just wiggle back and forth. So again, you can see my toes are now curled under. And I just go back and forth. I sit flat and I come back up. So again, don't feel like you have to do this overnight. But so many people have problems with their ankles and their feet. And the list goes on. Again, simple, easy things to do. And then over time... You might not need anything, and I can just go back and forth here, and then eventually I might go into a little bit more dynamic movement where I'm actually adding a little bit more range of motion here for my feet, and then eventually can I come up and sit here, again, great for your shins, your calves, your Achilles, everything else, and just go back and forth. So again, some real simple exercise you can do to improve the extremities and keep that mobility, flexibility, as we age. And remember, you have the power to feel your best. We'll see you next time.